three hours local time? Yes, uh, so after liftoff, Vega headed for the North Pole, made half a round on Earth, injected Proba V into its orbit when it was above Australia. We followed uh, all the activity thanks to the Perth downrange station. A third burn of the Avum slowed down the launcher into a new inclination of the orbit. It's as uh, the launcher was going down a kind of slope to join a lower altitude, uh, the altitude of six, 680 kilometers for the Venerat-Sat and S-Cube satellite. Um, the speed will rise until 7.65 kilometers per second as the altitude will diminish with respect to the Proba V orbit. The next step will be the separation of the, Vespa, the Vespa structure Coming in order two seconds. Yes, in order to uh, free the satellites. Separation de la partie supérieure du système de lancement double Vega. And right on time, yeah. coming up is the on the Vespa separation. Yes, and then the Avum stage will maneuver to point correctly the satellite before releasing them. All right, you can see Vinred sat exposed to the elements now. That's the uh, silver box. We know all this information because we're being tracked by the downrange tracking station in Saskatoon which acquired the signal about three minutes ago. Saskatoon sees separation of the Vespa, which we just saw, and the fourth Avum ignition and extinction, and then the station will also see separation of Vinredsat and SQ-1. Now, how does uh, separation happen? We have a clamp band system. Is it like on Ariane 5? Yes, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, the, the principle, it's as the SILDA one, you know, it's a uh, uh, the SILDA is the carrying structure that allows Ariane 5 to have a second passenger, like yeah, Vespa exactly. allows Vega to have another passenger. Yes, as, uh, say, as its name, Vespa, uh, Vega, secondary payload structure. And, um, and uh, so it, it allows to, to, have, uh, to, to bring another mini-satellite inside the structure itself. The separation of the Vespa is achieved by means of this uh, clamp band. And um, it's in order to open the two half shell in order to uh, free the, the the satellites which uh, are inside. Uh, the, the the band separates the Vespa along a horizontal plan at a mid level of the cylindrical part. Uh, well, that's like the Arian uh, uh, system, roughly. It separates into two uh, two it halves, I think, as well. Yes. The fourth Avum ignition will be burning for another 30 seconds roughly and we're, we're, what so what's going now what's going on now aside from the similarities between the separation systems of the uh, silda in Ariane and the vespa for for vega we're also in sort of a ballistics phase i guess you could call it right where we're where we have ignition and then for a period we don't have ignition yes. how how would you how, how would you explain that but um in, in between the satellites, we have to man, we have to maneuver the composite into different orbits, yes. Yes. different uh, altitude and altitudes. different uh, uh, inclination of these orbits. In in on Ariane 5, we can only um, uh, aim yeah. only one kind of orbit. It's for that reason that uh, on Ariane 5, when you have two satellites, they are always both on geotransfer geostationary transfer but right gto if you've, yes if you've heard that exactly <coughs> but that's not where we're going tonight in gto we have to go towards the east yep. tonight we go towards the north we're in the second to the fourth avum ignition by yep. the way <coughs> so we're in another powered phase now for guidance the avum is using clusters of thrusters for roll and attitude control now that's that's what the arian does but the arian in, in this in the arian version of the ballistics phase there's no power. Tonight we have power. Yes, Avum is a regnectable uh, engine. And uh, yeah, he has also its attitude and control. Uh, it has its control system, you know. We have um, the, the principle is the same in, uh, in, uh, in Ariane 5 in, uh, in on Vega, but we don't use the same, the same gases. On Ariane 5 we use the gaseous hydrogen for uh, to uh, to use uh, for the thruster and here on Vega for the Avum we use only hydrazin propelled system all right we are out of the fourth Avum stage burn we have uh, 
about two minutes before separation of Vinrad said. We think we have time for the quiz question, then I'll ask you a little bit about your job. <laughs> you want to go to the quiz question? You ready for this? Yeah. All right, see if yeah. anybody can get this. Let's this play. is, this is uh, let's play along. <laughs> if, you, if you win, you get a big prize. Concerns the new leadership at Area and Space. Yes. Very timely. All right, are you ready out there? See if anyone can get this. It's not really that hard. Area and Space quiz question for Vega flight number two. How many people have been at the head of Ariane space. Hmm. There haven't been that many. No. Question again. Tonight's quiz question for flight Vegas second flight. How many people, men or women, have been at the helm of Ariane hmm. space since the company's inception in 1980 <laughs> and who are they? Think you have an idea of the answer? I've got a clue. You've got a clue. I'll hold on to it. If you do, we will give you the answer in just a minute. But for now, as we're coming up on Vinred set separation, in under a minute, Again, a moment of concentration and focusing here, even though Proba V was successfully delivered almost an hour ago now. And many here in Jupiter, including yourself, and Rick, you've been in this sort of situation before, I would say even many times. You've lived through, through this sort, sort of situation. How would you describe the atmosphere down there with uh, the technical people? Yes, everybody is very focused on the success of the mission. So uh, every technician and engineer is focused that on every system is working well and uh, ready to uh, um, correct something that is not uh, working as well or normally. So all eyes and ears waiting we should have uh, confirmation in just a few short seconds yes. of separation of our second passenger for Vietnam. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we are, right on time. Mm -hmm. You see, pushed away again by the system. Mm -hmm. And you can hear the applause. La trajectoire est normale. Everything but is normal. Vinredsat 1's launch comes one month after the official announcement in Hanoi of this year, 2013, as Franco-Vietnamese year. Now, Enrico, give, give us the descriptions, as you did for uh, Proba V, of what's going to happen now that she's yeah. separated. Yes, but before that, I want to say that, anyway, the tense this evening will continue until the end of the mission, until the, the orbitation of the album.